Other than running, I haven't seen Chicago more geeked out <laughs> in a long time, and I think she's so excited about the Aurora Borealis. Check I'm it really, out. Uh, that is very cool. She this, got a shot. I took this. It's yes. not just a viewer photo. I took it. Um, so you should send it in. Maybe we can get it on that's TV. That's right. I bet if I submit it, maybe it'll end up on, on air. No, seriously, what you need to do, because the naked eye is not as sensitive to light as your phone camera, is look north, and even if you don't see anything with the naked eye, take your phone, do a... a long exposure yeah. three second or longer you may need to tweak down the exposure to make uh, it a little darker sure. watch and see the magic yeah, appear. that's very cool it's so really far down cool. here all right so this is one of those times where i am going to geek out because it's rare may 10th we had a solar storm that brought visibility of the northern lights down our direction this one from gerald and justin davis and then this one here's one from north of taylor you can see those beautiful colors check out this one from michael clayton in burnett county and let's go to wimber isn't this amazing? And now I'm getting word that as far south as New Braunfels, you can actually see it with the naked eye. Obviously, it's going to be easier to see through your phone, but in general, this is something Canada and Minnesota will see. Well, today, we're seeing it down here in Austin. I've seen reports in Florida. Definitely check it out before you do bed. Give it a shot. If you're in the city, light pollution may be an issue, so go somewhere dark. Meanwhile, outside right now, it is 82 degrees. Feels nice. Our high temperature earlier, 95. I see no reason why we won't build on that with potential record heat for ACL weekend, too. You thought last weekend was hot? Oh, you just wait. Okay, so an ozone action day for yet another day tomorrow. So if you have sensitivities to air pollution, that's also going to be an issue. We are high and dry, with the exception of some showers up in northwest Texas. And then the remnants of post-tropical Milton are well toward our east. What I'm actually keying in on up here, a slow moving cold front. Yes, not just a cold front in quotes, but one that could actually send temperatures cooler than average for the first time since September. Okay, tomorrow, 96, 96 on Saturday, 98 on Sunday, wrapping up ACL with a record high. The current record is 97 degrees. And I wish I could offer up some rain. I don't have it in the forecast, totally dry weather. However, hang in there after a hot, dry week and then the cool down temporarily midweek next week, temperatures bump back up for the October 18th through the 24th, but we may finally see some rain. There's hope for a slow moving system that might stall out toward our west and bring us finally some rain. All right, red boxes mean record highs Sunday as well as Columbus Day Monday. Tuesday's when the front comes through. Look at Wednesday and Thursday. Perhaps not as beautiful as the Aurora Borealis, but highs in the 80s, lows in the 50s, that's pretty great too.